Ang topic na ituturo ko ngayon, finding the n term of the given arithmetic sequence at magtuturo ako ng shortcut method para mas lalong mapadali na kahit hindi ka na gumamit ng formula. What to know? Ibibigay ko muna sa inyo ang mga kinds of sequence na maaaring ang iba sa inyo ay hindi pamilyar sa mga terminologies dahil ang ilan dito ay hindi nakakabilang o napapasama sa normal na discussions, especially sa grade 10 lesson, ang sequence. Number one, we have simple sequence. Ano ba yung tinatawag na simple sequence? Ito yung mga sequence or pattern na hindi tayo nag-a-add, hindi tayo nag-multiply. Ito yung may mga sequence na magkakaiba ang ating preceding term o kaya ay succeeding term. Basta meron lang siyang pattern, nakakahula tayo, pero siya ay part ng logic. No, wala siyang, wala siyang makukuhang common difference, wala tayong common ratio. Basta siya ay sequence or pattern lamang. Next, we have arithmetic sequence. Ang arithmetic sequence, kapag tayo ay nag-a-add o nagsusubtract sa ating preceding term or uh, succeeding term, ito ay tinatawag na arithmetic sequence. At kung tayo ay nagdadagdag, yun ang tinatawag nating common difference. Ganon din kung tayo nagbabawas. Ang tawag doon, meron tayong makukuhang common difference. Next, we have geometric sequence. Kapag naman tayo nagmumultiply o nagdi-divide sa bawat term, succeeding term or preceding term, we have geometric sequence. Nagkakaroon tayo ng tinatawag na common ratio. Ang common ratio ay kung saan tayo nagmultiply o nagdivide. Next, we have Fibonacci sequence. Ang Fibonacci sequence naman, ito ay mayroong dalawang term na given kung saan ang sum ng first at second term doon makukuha yung pangatlong term. Ang Fibonacci sequence ay nakabase sa pangatlong term na kung saan kinukuha lang yung first two terms. Ina-add natin. Next, we have harmonic sequence. Ang harmonic sequence naman, pwede nating sabihin reciprocal siya ng arithmetic sequence. Maaring meron tayong fraction at makaka-encounter tayo ng fractions dito na kung saan kapag sinimplify mo, it can be sim uh, similar fraction o kaya ay uh, unit fractions na maaaring ang denominator niya can be proper or improper basta kapag kinuha mo yung reciprocal, ang, mag, ang mangyayari sa kanya ay arithmetic sequence. Mag-form siya ng arithmetic sequence kapag kinuha mo ang reciprocal ng kanya magiging sagot. Next, we have Tribonacci sequence. Kagaya kanina, meron tayong Fibonacci sequence. Ang Tribonacci sequence naman ay yung first three terms. Ia-add natin yung first three terms para makuha naman yung four term. And continuously lang yung pag-a-add. Ayan. Dumako na tayo sa ating main target. We have arithmetic sequence. Kung mapapansin nyo at matatandaan nyo, meron tayong tinatawag na general formula. A sub n equals A sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times common difference. Ano ba yung A sub n? Ang A sub n, the n term in the sequence. Ano yung A sub 1? The first term in the sequence. At ang ating D, yun yung tinatawag natin common difference between terms. Okay, let's have this example. Our target is to find the n term of the given sequence. 2, 5, 8, 11. Now, our target is to find the 5th term and the 100th term. Gagamitin muna natin ngayon ang general formula. Then later on, mamaya ipapakita ko sa inyo ang shortcut method. Ito ang ating general formula. A sub n equals A sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times common difference. As we can see here, ang ating arithmetic sequence, bakit siya arithmetic? Kasi nag a tayo ng, kung mapapansin natin, nag a tayo bawat term ng 3. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating common difference dito ay 3. Ayan. 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. If we're going to find the next term, 11 plus 3 is 14. Now, our target is to determine the 5th term and 100th term. Ito yung ating solution. A sub 5, ang ating kinukuha, which is 5th term. Now, our first term, substitute the values. Ang ating first term, 
Ito yun. Ang ating first term is 2. Plus, ang ating n, since ang ating n ay kinukuha ay 5, therefore, the value of n is 5. 5 minus 1 is 4. Ang ating common difference here is 3. Dahil doon tayo nag-a-add. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 plus 2 is 14. Therefore, our a sub 5, or the fifth term, is 14. Yun ang ating a sub 5. Ang ating fifth term is 14. Now, how about the 100 term? Gamit ang ating formula. A sub 100 equals, bakit 100? Kasi ang n term natin kinukuha ay 100. 2, our first term, plus our n, yun, yung subscript niya, yung subscript niya ay 100. 100 minus 1 is 99. Common difference is 3. 99 times 3 is 297. Plus 2 is 299. Okay? Now, ituturo ko naman sa inyo ngayon ang shortcut method na dapat sa, sa, sa ganyang given, makuha din natin ang fifth term is 14 at ang a sub 100 o yung 100 term is 299 gamit ang ituturo ko sa inyong shortcut method. I hope na sana makinig. Ito na, sisimulan ko na. Ayan, okay. Meron tayong sequence. Ang given natin, we have 2, 5, 8, 11, and so on. Ang ating first term ay 2. Ilalagay na natin ating first term. Ang ating second term, which is 5. Ang ating third term is 8. Ang ating, ele ang ating fourth term is 11. How about if we're going to find the fifth term, n term, and 100 term? Okay, our target is to determine the value of our 100 term. Now, as we can see here, the second term is 5, the pattern added by 3. Meaning to say, if we're going to add 11 plus 3, we will be having 11 plus 3 is 14. 14 plus 3 is 17. Our fifth term is 14. nag a tayo ng add 3, add 3, add 3, add 3. Now, our target is to determine the n term. Yung formula natin, kung tayo nag a dito ng 3, Magmumultiply naman tayo ng 3. N times 3. If we're going to check, first term, we have 1 times 3 equals 3. And if it is 2, 2 times 3 equals 6. 1 times 3 equals 3. Pero ang kailangan natin sa first term ay 2. Sa second term, 2 times 3 is 6. Pero ang kailangan natin ay 5. So, ibig sabihin, we are going to revise our formula. What will happen? Magma-minus 1 ang ating formula. mag adjust tayo ng isa. 1. Uh, meaning to say, our formula now is n times 3 minus 1. Let's check. 1 times 3 minus 1, 3 minus 1 equals 2. Check. How about one, uh, 2 times 3 minus 1? We have 6 minus 1 is 5. Check. We have the third term. We have 3 times 3 minus 1, 9 minus 1 equals 8. Check. How about the fifth term? If we're going to check, 5 times 3 minus 1, we have 15 minus 1 is 14. And how about the 100 term? 100 times 3 minus 1, 100 times 3 is 300 minus 1, the result is 299. Therefore, the 100 term is 200. 99.
nakuha din natin ito gamit yung kaninang formula a sub n equal Okay, how about this one? Meron tayong given 7, 10, 13, 16 First term, second term, third term, fourth term How about our fifth term will be Added by 3 also This will become 19 19 plus 3, we have 22 Okay, now as we can see here, if we're going to write the first term, which is 7, second term is 10, third is 13, fourth is 16, fifth is 19, this is our sixth term. Now, we're going to find, determine the formula. Okay, we have here, add 3. Add 3, add 3. How about if we're going to multiply n times 3? Let's check. We have 1 times 3 equals 3. But this is 7. <clears throat> ang sagot natin dito ay 3, pero ang kailangan natin 7. 2 times 3 equals 6, pero ang kailangan natin doon ay 10. Meaning to say, we are going to add 4 to make it 7 to make it 10. Therefore, our formula now is n times 3 plus 4. Let's check. 1 times 3 plus 4. 3 plus 4 is 7. Okay, check. How about 1? The fifth term, we have 5 times 3 plus 4 15 plus 4 is 19 check the 100 term we have 100 times 3 plus 4 we have 100 times 3 300 plus 4 we have 304 therefore the 100 term is 304 How about this given? We have 3, 10, 17, and so on. The fourth term is missing. The fifth term is missing. If we're going to continue, this sequence added by 7. We have plus 7. That is 24. This one, 24 plus 7, is 31. Okay, next... If the first term is 3, we're going to write it. The second term is 10. Third term is 17. Fourth term is 24. Fifth term is 31. Our formula here, we're going to add it by this sequence added by, added by 7. Add 7, add 7, add 7. Now, we're going to multiply by 7. N times 7 let's check we have the first term 1 times 7 equals 7 but we need 3 not 7 2 times 7 equals 14 but we need 10 therefore to make it 3 and to make it 10 we are going to subtract 4 Therefore, our formula now is n times 7 minus 4. Let's check if we're going to check the fifth term. 5 times 7 minus 4. 5 times 5 is 35 minus 4. We have 31 is the fifth term, which is checked already. How about the 100 term? 100 times 7 minus 4. 700 minus 4 is 696 therefore the 100 term of this sequence is 696